We are with Stephen Hart, who is uh, sound engineering my session today with Celso Alberti. And we're going to be putting drums on a couple of tracks, and uh, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, yes. So stay tuned, and uh, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. The guy who uh, happened, uh, Yanni, he, he was expensive. Hello, Mr. Shambu. Here we are. Are we getting ready or what? We are getting ready for the session today. All right, well, Anna's going to do all the work I'm directing. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic idea of documenting all the, the process. I love it. Just incredible stuff. What are you trying to do? Putting it all together, seeing all the tracks, you know, you add it on, a player and the second player and the third player. Everybody loves to see that process going on. And I, will, I am one of the people that love that. <laughs> Really cool. Well, now you're part of the process. I'm so honored. Have a moment. <laughs> How are we miking this? Uh, we're using um, kind of a conventional technique here, uh, I would say. Um, I think for what we're doing, we want to get in and have and be close and and articulate, or be able to catch the nuance that you're talking about. So. A lot of close miking, right. which we'll augment with with a couple of medium farm. Can you tell us about the two songs that Celso's playing on? Yeah, Celso's playing on a song called Maui Breeze to start. Mary Breeze is a song I wrote last November. It's kind of reflective of the great vibes that I feel when I'm on Maui. And Maui is one of my favorite places in the universe. I go there oh. usually about two to four weeks a year and just hang out and chill and recharge. Nice. We want to have the drums there to really provide that backbeat, kind of like Steely Danish, a very steady thing. And then as we move into what I call the Jimmy Buffett part, a little tom-tom and play with some cymbal work. So that's what kind of Celso and I have talked about. Yeah, a little bit more I love the fact that you know what you want and, and you can convey that to the player so it's, uh, you know, we guide us through what, what you really hear and what you want from a, uh, for, uh, in the track, you know. So I appreciate that. <laughs> together, um, together I wrote on New Year's Eve, it was part of a group of six songs that I had done that night. I see it as kind of a mashup between, you know, um, uh, a jam band, fish, Grateful Dead kind of thing where you just kind of get a bunch of guys on the stage and expand on this song uh, as we repeat it over and over and become more soulful and and it's it's introspective in that it, it touches you inside but at the same time it has a really good beat so if you feel like moving and dancing to it, it does that too. So what's your approach to this song? Well, this, this song is more like, of a, like a mantra, you know, as you mentioned before. And it's got this soft sort of edge to it. Soft edge, if there is something like, <laughs> like a soft edge. But, uh, so I decided to use these sticks, which are like plastic. 
and uh, it's a cross between a stick and, the, and, and some brushes. And they have a really kind of pretty... It's a really soft sound and hopefully it will just match the track perfectly. First of all, I was really happy with the session from all standpoints. I thought Celso was amazing. Steven's always amazing to work with. What do you guys think? Absolutely. I mean, the sound came in about two minutes. That's right. Well, you with know. you and the board, it always does that, right? Well, no, I tell you, it's all about the prep. <laughs> you prep right when you hit, you're there when you're there. You know? Yeah. And then the other side is, this is probably the last drum tracking session I will do in this room. So it's kind of a historic moment for me, two and a half years. Right on. And well, I'm glad yeah. to be the one to be tracking it. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and, it, and I'm honored because this is, I think this is the first session of mine that I've done here, besides the duo that I right. did. But this is kind of, and, and also I wanted to get Steven on my album. So, yeah. There you have it. But that's not a bad thing because where I'm going to move to is more beautiful. Right. And I'll be there. That's <laughs> right. We all be there. Good. So thank you for uh, joining my session today. We had a great time and uh, make sure you visit me at shambumusic.com and also you can download videos and take a look at them at youtube.com slash shambumusic. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. We're doing a little vocal with Clay Tovin Richardson. Peace out. <laughs>